Welcome back to Automotive Electronics. We got in front of us a 2010 F-150 today, Lariat Edition. And to get this thing apart to this point, there's a back on it. It has some clips and this up here that has some clips. There's also two screws here and here, T-15s. And there is one in the back in the center. Where are you? right there in the center okay and then it just comes off with clips so i think we're going to figure out pretty quickly what's wrong with this one it's got the power on right now currently move it around get the powers off and get it to power back on just by moving it around i think we're going to find a pretty obvious problem in this one so to get down to the board level, I'm going to go ahead and mark your needles here. Where the stop is, you just uh, rotate these needles until they come to a stop, not forcefully, just kind of, you'll feel the stop. All right, where they stop, you make yourself a little mark. You can use some masking tape to make this mark, or you can just make a little insignificant mark on the Use a pencil. You can erase that if you want. These be very careful. Rotate against the stop and gently pull up. If you get too aggressive with these, the stepper motor will break. It just takes patience and rotate them up and off. These are different style stepper motor. You can be a little more aggressive with those. I haven't seen those stepper motors break yet. At that point, the board is still clipped in with little clips on the side here. I start by on one end. I put a little pressure, upward pressure on the plug while I am working these clips free. You should feel them board give in to your influence at some point you just keep working on those kind of like taking a tire off you just kind of got to work around the edges until you, you get that sucker off and it's out Come over to our other bench here. And see what we can see. Let me get set up here on the uh, microscope. And we will take a look here and see what we can see. I bet you I already know what it's going to be. Whoops, we got the wrong camera up. There we go. And get you focused here. This is where the main plug comes through the board. I'm trying to get it to where you can see. You see those little pins moving? I'm wiggling the, the cluster plug here and you can see those little pins just moving all over the place. So that's going to be the fix on this. We're going to get set up here and give it a little lube, also known as flux. and get to work fixing those connections. I get my readers on so we can see what we're doing here. Try to do all this underneath the microscope so you can see as I'm repairing this one. Just uh, adding a little bit of solder to each of these 
reflowing the solder that's on there and mixing it with the new stuff. Not too much, just a little touch of additional solder. And that is it. That's all that's really needed to get one of these that's powering off and powering back on on and off and on and off in your vehicle. And we'll see if we got a little difference going here. power supply here or variable power you know what I'm saying it doesn't vary anymore with wiggling or twisting or torquing or any of that stuff so we're good to go let me show you how to get this back together back together is pretty simple get your board lined up And it's where, and where it goes. And you want to put your needles back on. Um, you want to have the power off to do this. So let me remove the power. Okay, I'm going to lightly put the needle on there. I'm going to rotate it around to that mark we made. Okay. Now, you want your needles on there so that they're not going to fall off, but you don't want to bury that needle all the way against the face. If, it, if you do, it's going to drag and cause a different issue with your cluster. So we'll just get these back on. What I'm doing is I'm feeling that stop. So right now the stop is right there. I'm rotating it around to the mark. So now the stop is right there on my mark. back on it just snaps in place get it all lined up snap it back in place get your face plate back on snap it in place thing looking good there you got two t15s here T15 on the back here. And voila. Working cluster. Everything's good to go there. Good time to clean the lens up. So everything's pretty. This will work for that intermittent problem from 2010 to 14. It worked, oh, sorry about that, I was off camera. It also works on a lot of other clusters too, but uh, this particular cluster, I think it's 10 to 14 or so. And uh, that should, should cover you. If it's just driving down the road, cluster goes off, and drive a little more, cluster comes on, goes off, comes on, goes off, comes on. Probably your problem. That's uh, there's a lot of them that come in here like that. So uh, easy DIY at home. Uh, just don't use a big old mammoth 
soldering iron. I don't have one sitting around here for an example. The one I use is pretty small. Okay. It helps me get in those little tight areas. And uh, if you got something with a pistol grip, probably not what you want to use. Okay. Uh, 60 40 solder and the flux definitely helps. Uh, that helps everything go where it's supposed to. Other than that, I guess I got nothing left to teach you on this one. It's been a minute since I shaved. <laughs> but anyway, just wanted to put a video out, so I ain't, ain't going to take time to go clean up. Nonetheless, uh, that worked for you. If that helped you out, please get down there and like and subscribe. Helps the channel out. Helps us keep going. And I uh, appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for spending the time.